My preview build of the latest Sherlock Holmes game, The Devil's Daughter, began with an exhilarating chase in a forest before rewinding several hours to an innocuous scene with Holmes sprawled out on the couch, suffering from a bout of boredom and utter lack of distraction to keep him active. Then, just in the nick of time, a small boy named Tom comes to the office with a major concern. His father is missing. Time was not wasted as The Devil's Daughter introduced me to many of the tried and true gameplay mechanics of the series past. Before I ever started speaking to Tom, time froze as the camera panned across Tom's body. I'm able to now inspect various areas of his clothing, his face, hands, and general demeanor to uncover his unspoken secrets. Why are his eyes red? What does that sewn on patch on his coat mean? Why are his hands dirty? My assumptions and deductions of those clues will inform not only the character portrait information that Holmes creates, but it will influence the types of questions that I can ask as well. The Sherlock Holmes franchise, much like the titular character, has never been happy with delivering just service level investigations and thrills, but instead always aims to encourage an authentic portrayal of Holmes' life from all angles. The Devil's Daughter marks the eighth game developed by Frogware in the Sherlock Holmes franchise in the past 14 years a long and admirable run for any developer or game series. In the case of The Devil's Daughter, Frogware employed the if it ain't broke, don't fix it approach to the design. In addition to the standard inspection and conversation mechanics being carried over from Crimes and Punishments, you're also able to explore environments as you investigate cases, use your Sherlock talent to uncover hidden clues, and piece those chunks of information together in the deduction menu. Here, you'll have to choose different combinations of clues, the ones that make sense together, and decide which types of conclusions to draw from those ideas. But be careful because you can come to the wrong conclusions. However, what The Devil's Daughter may lack in terms of innovation, it more than makes up for with additional polish in an immersive world. Areas that you explore are much larger, choices have far-reaching consequences, you can fail parts of the game and make mistakes, and new action sequences tie the cutscenes and narrative together seamlessly. It's a safe sequel that carries the torch forward rather than igniting a new flame to champion. Typically with these sorts of more interactive and narrative adventure games, you'll find yourself restricted by linear environments that do a poor job of imitating an open atmosphere, but that's not the case this time around. As I got deeper into the demo, things started to get more intense. One clue tipped me off to a certain mysterious man that was handing out special jobs to patrons of a certain downtown pub. After I found the location by actually reading street signs and chatting with locals, I did a bit of eavesdropping. If you've ever played the Fight Night franchise, then you're familiar with this gameplay mechanic. As a way of mirroring the way that your ears strain when trying to listen to someone else's conversation, I had to keep each control stick inside of a larger circle, all while the icons were fighting against me to move outside the circle. Lockpicking and cracking safes are also engaging. In the case of safes, I had to physically move the stethoscope around the exterior of the safe as I turned the knob to try and find the right numbers. Listening for the clicks had me really straining my ears. Playing with headphones during this moment would have helped a lot. Ultimately, I came away wishing I could have spent even more time in the shoes of the legendary career detective. There's nothing more frustrating than being on the verge of uncovering a secret and finding out what's swirling in the shadows only to stop and leave the mystery unsolved. This adventure's narrative promises to take a much more personal approach to Holmes' past, present, and future. For more on Sherlock Holmes' The Devil's Daughter, stay tuned to IGN.